In the early 2000s, there was this calamity happening in sub-Saharan Africa. Country after country were facing this disease that confused them and that were wiping out those people of an age who were most active in the workforce and coming out into the years where they would have children. And they were losing that generation. Um, the chance of countries to become um, economic success stories, the chance of countries to be stable, not be war zones, not be places the United States would have to worry about in terms of instability, um, were made all the more subject to chaos and desperation. The Global Fund and PEPFAR were, were created at the same time. The Global Fund to fight AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria was, was designed as a collaborative effort and to not have some of the problems of the UN. To be a public-private civic faith partnership. And from the very beginning, PEPFAR and the Global Fund worked together. The Global Fund is essentially a small world bank that funds projects um, that involve community leaders, faith leaders, business leaders, and of course um, public uh, authorities in countries. It funds things, whereas PEPFAR is uh, operational and works closely with the governments designing the programs. In particular, the Global Fund buys drugs, diagnostic equipment, malaria bed nets, commodities at, at scale and brings the prices down and makes it more affordable for the people of poorer countries and really for the U.S. programs like PEPFAR to be able to do their business more manageably. PEPFAR has had enormous impact. It's, it's completely transformed the lives of people. Every one of those people who did not perish because of HIV AIDS has an opportunity to become educated to have a life, provide for their family. PEPFAR, it's been estimated, has saved 17 million lives. Um, if you look at the three biggest infectious diseases of AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria in places that the Global Fund has worked, maybe it's even broader of 27 million people whose lives have been saved from those three pandemics. Can you imagine the um, opportunity to have been part of something that saved so many lives. We have wars and famines that kill millions. But this was an active effort that people prayed and thought about and it, it saved a generation in Sub-Saharan Africa. PEPFAR and the Global Fund represent a remarkable contribution by the United States. It was altruistic, it was done for, um, for the good of it. But the world has looked at us as leaders, as people who care about their sisters and brothers uh, around the world. There's been a, a huge uh, impact. The number of deaths um, due to HIV AIDS since its peak of 2005 has been cut in half. Um, but to work on HIV AIDS and with the Global Fund on HIV AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria and just sort of pull back before you can achieve the most sustainable solution, which is ending the epidemic. Not zero cases, but epidemiological control. That would be silly. And there is a, a danger because of multi-drug resistant strains of disease because of the vulnerability of young women, because of the growing of a huge youth generation demographically in, in Africa. Standing pat, or worse yet, pulling back, could actually mean resurgence. Wouldn't it be awful that this remarkable thing that the United States and the world did, inspired by faith and secular leaders insisting on it, were squandered because we decided, eh, did a good job, we're out.